Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Amethyst Tyler Hero, who is a 6'5 point guard, probably an awesome offensive 6'5 point guard in my team as well. Super excited to try this card out and see how well he plays. And at 6'5, I think he's big enough where we could low key hide him defensively in a lot of matchups as well, which will make him really a pretty viable card if you were to lock him in. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 15,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I'm uploading every single day. Tons and tons of daily My Team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So Tyler Hero is a 6'5 PG, and the fact he can pay, play PG really elevates this card. If he was a shooting guard small forward, he'd be a lot lower on, in my opinion, at the uh, those positions. Um, but 6'5, 93 offense, 84 defense, 90 driving layup, 89 close shot, 90 midi, 93 three ball, 90 93 free throw, 75 driving dunk is more than high enough, 88 ball handle, 88 pass accuracy, also more than high enough. Defensively, he's mediocre, 75 steals, 79 perimeter, 70 interior, but not awful. 85 speed and excel, 84 speed with ball, 79 lateral quickness. Considering he's 6'4", he's not the worst, or 6'5", I should say. He's not the worst defensive card in the world. He's got two hops, which are blinders and deadeye, 21 golds and 15 silvers, include acrobat, pro touch, agent three, catch and shoot, guard up, limitless range, ankle breaker, hammer today's hyper drive, unpluckable, bunny, float game, spook, scooper, spin cycle, free points, open look, spot finder, and triple strike. Silver fast twitch, green machine, slippery off ball, bailout, break starter, pogo stick, two step whistle, and relay passer, and bronze blow by. The only badge that he's really missing, in my opinion, is the speed booster badge because offensively, the card is really, really nice. The question is, uh, defensively, how is he going to compete? Um, the badges there aren't great on the defensive end, but I'm not as worried about that part. It's the speed booster badge that he doesn't have that I would really like him to have because that would help him out a lot as an overall shot creator. But the first thing he does have going for him is the Booker dribble style and a really nice between the legs and a great release. So you combine a great release with a great between the legs and a great fade. Oh, hold on. Tyler Hero's fade to the right is really, really nice. Let's see what the fade to the left is looking like. If it's good, too. Ah, it's not nearly as good. But um, fading to the right, he's going to be really, really nice. So he's got a good fade to the right for sure. Creates a lot of space and it's very, very smooth. Feels very easy to green. Release itself is super nice and movement with that Booker dribble style and okay size up in between the legs or at least momentum size up in between the legs. The momentum size isn't very good, but the between the legs is good. The same side burst is going to work just fine as well. Uh, overall, there's there's not a lot to complain about with this card. It's really just that him not having that speed booster badge, but offensively, he's going to be awesome. And I really appreciate the fact he can play point guard because that makes him a lot lot better as well so overall tyler hero is going to be a great offensive card is he worth the lock-in probably not but at 6-5 i'm excited to use the card let's hop into a game let's see what tyler hero can do all right our opponent has d wade steve smith Kawhi, chet and wilt that's a great team this is a really solid matchup. Uh, definitely going to be a competitive game here. So we'll see what we can do. Put Tyler Hero on Kawhi. This is what I'm saying when you, I said you can hide him. There are a lot of matchups, such as this one against Kawhi, where you're going to be able to really effectively hide a guy like Tyler Hero. This is not that much of a mismatch, by the way. I understand Chet is a lot bigger than Paul George, but the low strength on him will make it tough to back people down. And he does. It's, it's exactly that. Very tough for him to back down Paul George. He's not able to get to his spot and not able to get the type of shot that he's probably looking for. Booker dribble style into that push cross to the three. That dribble style is so good, and that is why, right there, you see the push cross, able to get the defender going the wrong way and then take advantage, bursting the other way, and getting ourselves an open three, and that right there is the value of the Devin Booker push cross. Uh, we get ourselves a board, and we're pushing the ball up in transition. We're going to go right back to it, too. We're going to push cross this way this time. We're going to pull up for the fade, and we're going to hit it. Tyler Hero, six quick points. Like I said, offensive menace is what you're looking at with Tyler Hero. You can hide him defensively, and that's all you got to do. Is he a card I recommended locking in? No. Everybody, a lot of people already have a ton of point guards magic d wade steph Kyrie, etc etc there are so many good point guard cards already there's no reason you have to lock in a guy like tyler hero but if you were to lock him in he's an amazing offensive card and i think you can hide him well enough defensively to allow you to take advantage of that offensive capability getting downhill to the rim again by the way he can slash i don't know why he didn't dunk the ball there i'm kind of surprised but he definitely is a capable slasher as well he's not just a three hunting shooting card and then defensively even though he's not good he's not a complete liability either i don't know how that wasn't a steal but it's okay uh, wilt is not a matchup that i'm super worried about uh, i feel like Giannis is going to wall that up and Giannis does exactly that walls that up and gets a block exactly as i anticipated Giannis is just so much better than any other big in this game right now i feel like pushed across again tyler hero there we go to the rim again he is going crazy and now he's got sharp take which means he's going to go even crazier offensively right now he is absolutely dominating and i'm absolutely loving what i'm seeing let's play some defense although he's not even playing offense anymore is this dude just holding the ball are we literally going to be done with the gameplay two minutes in because he is just going to hold the ball the rest of the game he might be holding the ball because of the quits the bands that you get for quits which i think is really really stupid by the way 2k like please 
do something about that because this dude should be able to quit. This game is over. He wants to quit. I don't blame him. I would want to quit too. And the fact that he can't quit, I think is kind of garbage. Although Tyler Hero's fade is elite and he is an elite level card. I know he was wide open there that our opponent isn't really playing defense, but he's an absolute demon and uh, I'm very, very impressed by the card as a whole. That's a wide open three. You should shoot that. Okay. He's back to plan, I guess. Cool. We're going to get ourselves a little more gameplay then if he's back to plan. He greens a heavy okay 13 points so far for tyler hero he's got sharp take and he's got that limitless range he could shoot from pretty much anywhere i'm just gonna stop and pop from there and it's a bucket tyler hero's release is so good he's not even playing defense right now so i'm not showing too much anymore but even when he was playing defense tyler hero was getting to whatever he wanted his release is incredible everything this card does on the offensive end is really really nice i mean he's not the most elite slasher in the world but he's good enough right and his fade animations are so good Oh my goodness, another front catch and shoot fade right there. He wasn't even like not playing defense. That was just, we faded the CPU. He's so good on the offensive end of the court. And I'm just absolutely incredibly impressed by the card. It's fade again from four point range that time. And I didn't hit it. First time I messed up the fade, it was just too quick of an animation there. And that's my fault for messing it up. We're just going back and forth, shooting up bombs at this point. But my bombs are working a lot better than his. That's late too, though. And I finally lost the shot timing. I knew it was going to happen. I'm just not good at scoring in this game sometimes. Good size step three. He can't hit a shot, though. Let's get one more bucket with Tyler Hero, and then we'll call it a gameplay. Catch and shoot from Narnia. Oh, that's green, too. No way. I'm like hurting his shooting percentage all of a sudden. I haven't missed damn near all game, and now I've missed three in a row. But with the amount of shots that he's chucking up, it's allowing me to get more shots with takeover, which I am a huge fan of. That one's got to be green, right? Dude, how hard is it to green from there? I'm struggling. I thought I was going to green those. We're killing his shooting percentage, but I think I've shown enough that Tyler Hero is an amazing offensive card. I'm very, very impressed with him as a whole. So let's go get ourselves one more bucket. It doesn't have to be a ridiculously deep three, but just something nice would be solid. And there we go. There's the three ball. Let's hop back to the main menu. Let's review Tyler Hero. As a whole, Tyler Hero is a great offensive PG, and at 6'5", he's good enough to be hidden defensively as well in most matchups. So this card is great. I think he's really, really good on the offensive end of the court. I don't know. He might be a top five point guard in my team. The question is, is he better than a D-Wade who can play defense better? Is he better than a Donovan Mitchell who defends better? Is he better than Steph Curry who's probably a better shot creator but doesn't dunk and isn't as big? I don't know. Like, he's in that top five, though, area for sure. And I think there's definitely an argument to be made that Tyler Hero is a top five point guard in the game. He's a great card. If you lock him in, you're going to have a lot of success. And he's a super fun offensive card for sure. So that is going to do it for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate you all. Peace.